hours, 20 minutes. Up the time here. I hear one. But I don't see it. There he is. Those doors open. It's like he's trying to shout, but he couldn't. Never pulled that that chain. Why did these doors open? And what maybe that chain just opens up access to those stairs. I basically a tier one quest. Well, I guess it depends on how you, how you played the game. I found it really early. Bunch of nothing in there. Let's go pull that chain. I like to always look under these stairs. Any stairs. This was the kind of door activation thing I thought I was missing earlier. Oh, we're there. Talk to me. No, I guess not. Some pretty good composition right there. Look at that. 
You good? Lord, I gotta backtrack all the way out of here. No back door. See how much junk I find that I missed on the way in. Is that my turn? Yeah, it was my turn. Can you show me the way out now? Oh, it's that door. That's right, I forgot about this door. Coral claw. Ruby. Wolf. Hawk. Wolf. first playthrough. Oops, that's not what I meant to do. Well, you miss me. I didn't know I could look at the claw and see the code. So I was guessing these things. Well, not guessing, I was doing a pattern. But you know, how many permutations can you get? Three separate rings, three choices each. I forget the math on that. some kind of treasure chest and either some kind of Draugr Lord or a Dragon Priest and yeah, there it is right there. Got a bad feeling about this. Yeah. These guys are going to want to come to life. Who's got the biggest, nastiest weapons? We get them for hey, there he is. Hold it. It is time. Say search, and that means he's killable.
Oh, that's King Olaf one eye himself. He's good as dead. like these. That jogger got killed by a shell. I saw her body go flying, pinwheeling away. None of my companions here show. Ten cents worth of crab. Chinese junk. I don't have any uh, dragon souls. I didn't activate the dragons. I don't plan on it for quite some. Diamonds. I wouldn't find it too many diamonds. Although I've got my collection of flawless diamonds complete. I've got more flawless diamonds than I do. Oh, bring cumber.
probably get rid of a bunch of these arrows just to clear up this cleared inventory. Especially since I can't remember when I shot an arrow. There was a time in this game early on where I shot a few. But I've since started to rely on conjuration. And I've switched my playstyle to try not to ever even swing your sword. Let somebody else do the killing. Take that out of my inventory. I'm not done with that. I should be done with that. Maybe I need to just get out of here first. Usually this back door is a shortcut out of the dungeon though, so we're basically there. times it dumps you back into the uh, dungeon and it, it loops you around towards the front, yeah. Well, I don't know why I wouldn't have saw that. Unless this whole room a secret room. Okay, we got to piss me off a little bit here. Come on, hit box. All this shit for two fucking gold pieces. front door. So how was it I missed that? Because that opened. Pick this up. Pick the cloth off of this pedestal trigger. That opened up and I think the ghost went in. I'm not sure if the ghost was appeared. So I just instinctively, I don't know why I went around this way and went in the door. I could have tried to go around this way and gotten into the door. And when I got here, I probably would have found this door inoperative. these two books. Why am I coming to the Blue Palace? Shouldn't I be going to the Bard's College? Hope 
just tripped on a seagull. Well, before we go in there, let's read the books, because he might be right on the other side of the door. He often is, and he might engage me immediately in conversation. That I'm not ready for. Oh, they're Olaf the dragon. And King Olaf's verse. Let's read Olaf the Dragon first. One of the more colorful legends, one eyed Numenex long ago, in the first age, a fearsome dragon named Numenex ravaged the whole of Skyrim. The dreadful Drake wiped out entire villages, burned cities, and killed countless Nords. It seemed that no power in Tamriel could stop the monster. This was a troubled time in Skyrim's history, for a bitter war of succession raged between the holes. The Jarls might have been able to conquer the beast if they had worked together. The trust was in desperately short supply. A skillful warrior named Olaf came forward and promised to defeat the beast. In some accounts, he is the Jarl of Whiterun. See, the some accounts. You have to piece this together somehow. Probably no matter what we choose, it'll float, but it, it's going to sound like other, not other utter nonsense. Possibly. Olaf promises the people of Whiterun that he will capture the monster if they will name him Jarl. At any rate, Olaf ventures forth with a handful of his most trusted warriors and seek the beast out. Eventually finding Numenex in his lair atop Mount Anthor. Needless to say, it's an epic battle. First Olaf comes at the dragon with his axe and his shield. Some variants of the legend say that Olaf and the beast battle with blade and claw for days, but were too evenly matched for either to gain an advantage. Most accounts hold that Olaf perhaps frustrated that his weapons are completely ineffectual against the dragon, finally casts them aside. Giving voice to the rage that has been building within him, Olaf unleashes a terrible show. Here again, the stories diverge. Many accounts hold that Olaf did not realize he possessed the power of the dragon speech. That's a little doubtful. While others suggest that he had long possessed this gift, but wished to test himself against the dragon in martial combat first. That's a little more believable. But games like this, there's always, that's how they do it. There's always plausible deniability. Either choice could make sense to a person. It's almost a Rorschach test for your psyche. Virtually all variations of the legend, however, agree on what happened next. Using the awesome powers of the dragon language, Numenix and Olaf engaged in an epic shouting duel atop Mount Antho. So forceful are their words, they are said to shatter the stone and split the sky. Finally, Numenex collapses from a combination of injury and sheer exhaustion. Somehow, and this detail is conspicuously absent in virtually every account, but not all, Olaf manages to convey the dragon all the way back to the capital city of Whiterun. People of Whiterun are suitably impressed. 
with old wolf's hostage. Yeah, how do you, conspicuously absent, how do you get the dragon there? That'll start to make sense later. The people of Whiterun are suitably impressed with Olaf's hostage. They build a huge stone holding cell at the rear of the palace, which they rename Dragon's Reach. This enormous cell serves as Numenex's prison until his death. Olaf himself eventually becomes the High King of Skyrim, putting an end to the War of Succession. Presumably, his great deed made him the only leader upon whom all the people could agree, so the land once again has peace. As a bitter visitor to Skyrim, I find the tale both fascinating and highly entertaining and dubious. It is one the most it is one of the most celebrated legends of the Nords. And one can easily understand why. It's a story of surpassing heroism in which a resourceful and worthy Nord does battle with a truly terrifying adversary and emerges victorious by yelling him into submission. The only way in which this could have been even more of a Nordic tale would be if Olaf beat Numenix in a drinking contest. <laughs> The legend is not without its doubt, doubters. However, the bards Fakner, who lived during Olaf's reign, wrote and performed an alternative, an alliterative, much different, an alliterative verse that challenged Olaf's version of events. Enraged, the High King threw the rebellious bard in prison and destroyed all written copies of the verse. Maybe except the one I just found. How I would love to lay hands on a copy of that verse. I admit I am immensely curious to know. There are a few ancient bard texts that provide one possible answer. These tomes suggest that Numenex was partially particularly foul-tempered because he was extremely old. In these accounts, the dragon spends his final years terrorizing the countryside before flying off to the top of Mount Anthar to die in peace. <laughs> when Olaf finds Numenex, the dragon is too weak to defend himself. Olaf and his men capture the beast without effort but decide to take advantage of the situation by fabricating a heroic tale. It's worth noting that all of Olaf's warriors who were said to witness the shout duel went on to become wealthy leaders during Olaf's reign as High King. This sounds like the truth, or closest to it. However, it is equally likely that Svaknir had some grudge against Olaf and his <coughs> scandalous verse. an attempt to damage the High King's reputation. Alas, we will never know. I leave you now, good reader, with this gentle reminder. A good historian must remain impartial and consider all points of view. Time has a way of distorting our records of events. So the closer you can get to the original source, the better. Okay. Now we've got King Olaf's verse here. O oh, Olaf, our subjugator, the one I betray. Well, you know, I don't need to read this. Because this guy's going to read it for me. And we're going to have to fill in the blanks. My throat's getting shot. Six hours. I'll probably call it after this quest is complete. Ah, you've returned. How goes the task I gave you? I found King Olaf's verse. 
I have to admit I didn't think it would actually be there. Now, let's take a look at this. Oh. Oh no. This won't do at all. The copy is incomplete. It's aged to the point that parts are unreadable. And the parts that are readable... Well, Bardic verse has come a long way since ancient times. What does that mean? It means I can't read it to the court. Without the verse, I won't be able to convince Elisif of the importance of the burning of King Olaf Festival. If she isn't convinced of the festival's importance, then she won't reverse her decision to stop the effigy burning. It means that the burning of King Olaf, which the Bard's College has held for time immemorial, won't be happening. Can't we just make up missing parts of the verse? Make it up? That doesn't seem appropriate. <laughs> I suppose I could copy his style based on what you brought me, but no idea what happened in between these verses. I do. We can do this. What's the first verse? Oh, Olaf, our subjugator, the one-eyed betrayer, death-dealing demon and dragon-killing king, your legend is lies, lurid and false. Your cunning capture of Numenex, a con for the ages. King Olaf was Olaf One-Eye? He famously captured the dragon Numenex and took him to Dragon's Reach. What did we say really happened? Olaf found him asleep. Oh, Olaf made a deal with him. Olaf was Numenex. No. Olaf made a deal. Olaf found him asleep. Well, he found him next to death. So let's call that a sleep. Nah, all right, I'm, I'm writing that in. I'm not sure about the court, but I find that much more probable than Olaf capturing a dragon. Okay, what's next? Olaf grabbed power by promise and threat. From fall grief to winter hold, they fell to their knees. But solitude stood strong, Skyrim's truest protectors. Olaf's vengeance was instant, inspired, and wicked. Strange. According to history, solitude attacked Winterhold, but this seemed to be saying Olaf reacted. What do we say happened? Olaf ordered disguised troops to attack Solitude. He convinced Solitude to attack Winterhold. He sacked it and used magic to blame Solitude. That sounds... I'm getting too tired. I, I've forgotten what he just said. He convinced Solitude to attack Winterhold. He sacked it and used magic to blame Solitude. Oh, that sounds good. I, I'm not sure the court will believe that Olaf had wizard powers, but we shall see. Yeah, see, I fucked up. That was a bad choice. It has a few final lines, but that's all we needed to add. I need to head to court immediately and present this. You should come. Let's go, boys. Maybe I should say girls. Grom could be a girl. I haven't checked.
do hope the court likes the verse. I think we've done an excellent job of recreating it. Are we ready? Well, I would have liked to have seen that last choice. Um, but it seemed to fit the deceptive way. I think my voice is ready. I hope we've done this well. And that's the way these games are structured. You know, that third choice, the, the other choices were probably designed so you, no matter what you picked, it would sound good, plausible. But the third choice, no matter what you picked, would sound improbable. Could be. Ah, Vialmo. I assume you are here to petition for the reinstatement of the burning of King Olaf Festival. I am, Yar. I wish to present King Olaf's verse from the Poetic Edda, recovered this very day from the Bard's tomb. You mentioned something that would convince us the festival should take place, but I didn't expect King Olaf's lost verse. Please proceed. Oh, Olaf, our subjugator, the one-eyed betrayer, death-dealing demon and dragon-killing king, your legend is lies, lurid and false. Your cunning cap... ...of Numenex Hakan for the ages. No shouting match between dragon and man. No fire or fury did this battle entail. Olaf captured a fast... Sleeping dragon, a mighty feat which the meek would not fail. <laughs> Olaf grabbed power by promise and threat. From fall grease to winter hold, they fell to their knees. But solitude stood strong, Skyrim's truest protectors. Olaf's vengeance was instant, inspired, and wicked. Because solitude would not soon bend knee, Olaf would hurt them while his status accrued. He sacked Winterhold, his only true ally, and used magic bold to blame solitude. So ends the story of Olaf the liar, a thief and a scoundrel. We of solitude commit to the fire. In solitude, bards train for their service. They also gather each year and burn a king who deserves it. You have proven your point, Viarmo. The festival is truly a celebration of solitude and a condemnation of false kings. I thank you, and the college thanks you, Jarl. Furthermore, I believe that such a fine poem deserves some payment of patronage. The college will be moderately rewarded. Oh. Thank you yet again. I will make sure our applicant, who was instrumental in recovering the poem, will be well Covering. rewarded. Unbelievable! You have done us a great service here. I can't begin to thank you enough. Does that mean I'm a bard now? Soon. 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 These things must be done properly. You will be inducted as part of the festival itself. I need you to go speak to Yorn. He was preparing the effigy of King Olaf. Tell him to finish the preparations. The festival is back on. Woohoo! Why don't you guys get in front of me?
this guy is only available at certain time of the day. I may have to come back. carrying anything to dress him up in. Ah, the bard to be. Did Fiarmo send you? I need to dress him up in like a Fabio kind a Fabio costume. The festival is back on. I'll tell everyone we're ready. But we'll start the festival dusk. Come talk to me after dark. We'll get the festival started when you do. Dusk after dark. Wall. It's eight in the morning. You gotta wait till like, what, eight at night? Twelve hours? Normally I wouldn't uh, wait. I try to never wait. But sometimes out of convenience. Let's wait one more hour. See, yeah, he's getting ready to go. Okay, dude, that's good enough. Ah, the bard to be. Did Fiarmo send you? The festival is back on. Great. Looks like you'll be one of us soon. We'll gather outside the college for the burning of King Olaf. So he's acting like this the first he's heard of it. So you're going to go around and tell anybody? I know this is a, a cellar door or something, but uh, it'll get me there. First cup is paid for by the college. <laughs> Meat pies! Buy one for free, come back for more! Get your meat pies! Might as well have... Huh? Might as well have some sweets. I made them for the... Might as well get the fuck out of my way, dude. Bardura is the best for First fun. Cup you should hear him say. Candy! Get your King Olaf's festival candy! Meat pies! Try one for Spike free, come here. back for First more! First cup is paid for by the car. Get your meat pies! people of solitude we of the bards college are pleased welcome to solitude home of the arts here in skyrim the festival would not have been possible without the dedication and hard work of our latest applicant with the lighting of the effigy She 
becomes a full-fledged member of the Bard's College. Please welcome our newest Bard! Of a bard? Yes, congratulations. You are now a full fledged member of the Bard's College. Due to your adventurous nature, several of the college professors have some things they wish you to do. I bet. What's more, Elisip has declared the burning of King Olaf should become a weekly event. Weekly. <laughs> and finally, there's the matter of the patronage that Elisip wanted me to give you. The gift of Gab added. I wonder what the gift of gab even is. Plus something to my speech. Where were you when I was handing out uniforms? So nice to get this break from my cleaning duties. Okay, so you're in a maid's outfit. I like the pretty lights. <laughs> your story you've done well by restoring our festival Emil congratulations on getting the festival restored I believe sanguine would be pleased with this festival Penguin, huh? Oh, are you? Get your meat pies. I heard you're the reason we get to have this. Thank you. And you? Thanks for convincing Elisif to put this on again. I thought the festival wasn't happening this year. Oh, she's from Divine Elegance. Sister. Best batch of spiced wine I ever had. Ah. Burn the king! Dude, are you doing the moonwalk or something over here? Get your festival meat pie, specially made. Did you say free meat pies? I said a free meat pie, as in one. <laughs> Here's yours. <laughs> Got another one? Get your festival meat pie, specially made. Nah, I was done talking anyway. Nah. Don't be like that. Anything under the counter? What's your story? Story. Thank you so much. The festival has really increased my sales. I don't recognize that uniform. Uh, 
Good luck out there. Seems like a tough time to be wandering Skyrim. Bjorn is the best of the bunch. You should hear him sing. Might as well have some sweets. I made them for the festival. Okay. Fabio, can I make a request? May the gods watch over your battles, friend. You seem proud to be a bard. And why wouldn't I be? We sing tales of kings, queens, and their politics, tis true. But do you know who really? Person who writes it. Get your meat pies. Any time. Come on, light the fire. Where you been? It's almost out. Nice guy shop, but ooh. No, get out of the way. Huh? Messing up my shot. That works. I didn't want to get any of the structure involved. I wanted to get just... That's it. That's it. Oh. Okay. Oh. No cigarettes? So when I find her, she's wearing a robe like this, except kind of... A, more of a blue color. This character might be the same. Take that hood off. And she turns from a plain plain look to a, a more beautiful look. But I can't help you today. Some other time. Ah, perfect timing. 56 minutes. Let me see. Let me see. Do this one next. This one is going to be lengthy as well.
then, I think. Oh, great. Stream is about to crash. So, good night, everybody. Get that set right.